Hi, we're here with M.K. Reed, the author of Americas, and we're at the American Library Association's annual conference in Anaheim in 2012. Thank you for um, interview for. <laughs> Try that again. That's why they're editing. <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to be interviewed. Um, could you tell us a little bit about Americas, and in particular, what it is about it that kids really like? Um. Uh, it's about a really shy teenager uh, going into high school and trying to save his favorite fantasy series from being banned in the town library at the same time. Um, and it's, I think, you know, it's, it speaks to kids to their ability to find a voice for themselves and speak up about the things they care about, even if they're like silly fantasy books that just matter a lot to them. And what has the response been from librarians about this book? Uh, extremely positive. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of nice to be at a library-specific event just because the people are coming. Like, Amazing! Thank you. And I'm like, I don't get that every day. Thank you. Great. And do you write it or illustrate it or a little bit of both? What is your role in the making of it? Uh, this book, I. I uh, was just involved in writing it, and the artist is Jonathan Hill, and he's wonderful to work with. And so we um, we ended up doing this whole separate guidebook to uh, the fantasy series with all of the there's like weapons and magic and monsters. It was just really fun to do, um, and he is so talented. I'm really lucky to work with him. But I've done a little bit of everything. Nice. And so what projects do you have coming up in the future? Coming up next year, I believe it will be out in June. Um, the title, which might change, um, but might stay the same, is The Cute Girl Network, and it's a romance comic about a girl going out with a guy that her friends think is really dumb, and then trying to dissuade her. But and yeah. And plot and so forth. Fun. Is is Jonathan Hill illustrating that one as well? No. Uh, the illustrator is a friend of mine from New York, uh, Joe Flood, who is also amazing. He drew um, the graphic novel Orcs that came out for, for a second in October. Great. Now, you know in libraries we have our own systems for organizing books, but if you could pick any books to put right next to yours, who would your books be up against? Uh, let's see, there uh, it was a graphic novel from a couple years back called Teenagers from Mars, which is sort of like a more raucous um, and slightly older uh, freedom of comic books graphic novel. Um, so I, I, I think we're in your company there. Uh, and I, I've completely forgotten every other book that exists. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for this time. Thank you.